had to undergo surgery because, like, my doctor, he said, like, when I was about six or seven, I had, like, I had developed a tumor or whatever in my jaw, like, right here. So he had to, he had to go in, like, I went to the dentist, and he went in, and he, he pretty much noticed that I, like, I had something in there. He did x-rays. They said I had a tumor, and they removed it. They stuck a metal plate in here, and the metal plate's in there. Surgery was eight hours and 30 minutes, and it was scary because I've never been through surgery, and... Like I knew I had to sit out for football and I didn't know what I was gonna expect what to expect when I came back. Going duck to the top of the numbers. The middle I'm kinda nervous, you know. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I haven't played in about fifteen months, so I'm just gonna go out there and do my do my best and put my best effort on the field and see how everything goes. Uh, it's an awesome feeling, you know. I I did pretty well my freshman year and uh I always wanted to play varsity football, but I never got a chance. 10th grade, I thought I was going to play and uh, had to sit. So it's my 11th grade year. And, you know, uh, I'm just going to try to do my best. I want to pick up some offers maybe this year. Uh, I thought like everything was against me. God was against me. I was like, why me out of everybody? And I got a rare tumor, you know. And it could have happened to anyone, but it happened to me. So it was, it was difficult, but I'm back here again, so I'm happy. The lesson I learned is that no matter what happens, you just got to keep going forward. You know, everything's not going to go your way all the time. I just just battle back, you know, and per persevere. And I think I'll, I'll, uh, I'm back to where I wanted to be.